Well, good morning, y'all. It has been a minute. Boy, have we been busy, busy with life. Um, today's video was recorded on Father's Day, and it is now the end of June. So, um, Father's Day was kind of, well, we didn't have a whole lot going on. A couple of my sons were out of town, and so I just uh, cooked the hubby a steak dinner and talked to my dad and my father-in-law and my son who has three little boys and there's a car passing by of course and um we just hung out around the house um that morning i discovered that our kitty cat had been run over so it was kind of a hard day for us but um anyway I just want to warn you ahead of time, there are some bloopers, and I could not make myself cut them out because all the time I am struggling with all the boys in my house, my husband included, trying to get in the back of my videos and make funny faces or say things, and so anyway, these were funny, couldn't cut them out, so it's just a little laugh for the day. And I hope you, all you guys had a very happy Father's Day. Good evening, y'all. It is Father's Day, Sunday, June, I don't know what June, 17th, maybe. Anyway, for supper tonight, we're going to grill some steaks, and I thought I'd show you my salad. So, this is cucumbers from my garden, tomatoes that I was gifted, um, from a garden that lives, uh, from somebody that lives down the road from me. My onions. And we're gonna add some Paula Deen's house seasoning and some Skinny Girl balsamic vinegar dressing. And I'll show you that in a minute. This salad is so delicious. I should have set it up earlier, but we've had a little bit of a rough day. Um, our kitty cat got run over and we found her early this morning and so, it's been a really sad and somber day for us, but anyway, we, um, we're going to get this salad put together. Okay, so there is my salad with the um, Paula Deen's on it, and then this is the Skinny Girl Dressing Fat-Free Sugar-Free. So, I'm just going to pour some on it. And I may add some Mrs. Dash to it, too. We'll see. I'm just going to use the rest of that bottle. This is great salad. It is so easy. You just chop it all up, throw it in there, and, and you're just pretty much done. So, I'll show you when I get done. Oh, man, y'all. This looks so good. It smells wonderful. My mouth is watering. It's going to be so delicious. Not to mention, it's so pretty. And I don't know about you, but pretty food tastes so much better. To go with our steak tonight, I'm going to do some loaded fried potatoes. Um, so what I've done is I've taken gold and red potatoes out of the garden. And I'm going to fry them in this electric skillet. Generally, I would do cast iron, but the skillet was already dirty. So I decided I would just use it. I'm going to dirty up another dish. So we're going to fry these potatoes with some salt, pepper, probably seasoned salt, and then it would be better if I had fried up my own bacon, but I didn't, so I'm going to use bacon bits. Put some bacon bits on it, towards the end, I will add some cheese and dollop some sour cream on it, and then we will have loaded fried potatoes. And here I am towards the end of the potatoes. They've cooked and cooked a little crispy and I'm going to add some bacon to it. So just sprinkle in your desired amount. The more the merrier, in my opinion. We're going to give it a stir and let it cook. Crisp up that bacon a little bit. And then we'll add some cheese to it and let it melt. Just a pretty simple and delicious potato, fried potato, loaded fried potatoes. 
to go with our steak and our supper tonight. We're gonna do. You know, I got hemorrhoids so bad. My hemorrhoids are so flared up. I'm putting that in my video too. <laughs> Jason has hemorrhoids. <laughs> you all hear that? <laughs> okay. Topic of the day is hemorrhoids. Okay, so I'm making a peach cobbler. Super simple. Melt a stick of butter in your pan. This is one cup of flour, one cup of sugar, one cup of milk, and one teaspoon of baking powder. So you just stir that all up, pour it over the butter, like that. And it said a 15 ounce can of um, peaches, but I'm gonna go all out and do a 29 ounce can. So, it said just spoon your peaches. I had this, I usually buy the peaches in juice, but this was heavy syrup, so this is gonna make a great peach cobbler. Spoon your peaches out over the batter. Can y'all see that? And uh, oops, I'm making a mess. Dog just busted in the door and it's only 95 degrees outside. Air blasting wide open and trying to keep the flies out, but oh well. Hold on just a sec. And so when you get the peaches all done, I think I'm gonna pour the juice in there too. But then I don't think the recipe that I'm following said, but I think it would be really good with all that juice. Maybe not all of it, but some of it. Bake it for 30 minutes at 350 or until golden brown. And you have you a simple peach cobbler. And I can hardly wait. I've been so hungry for peach cobbler. We try to watch our carbs and sugar, but I am a foodie. I love to eat. I love food. So I do it in moderation is what I attempt to do. If it's really good though, sometimes moderation don't work. So here it is, ready to go in the oven. Okay, so here's my plate. We have steak and loaded fried potatoes. This is a squash relish that my mom made and cucumber tomato salad. And on a side note, mm. my Okay, y'all, I had forgot last night to show you my peach cobbler. After it came out of the oven, I ended up having to stick it up on a larger pan because it was starting to overflow. Thank goodness I thought about that ahead of time or I'd had a mess. So, anyway, there it is. I had, I had helping last night, and I'm about to have another one at lunchtime today. Um, everybody else was full from the steak and all the other stuff that we had last night. And so nobody else ate peach cobbler but me. So we discovered an unfortunate accident um, and a huge family loss. As all of y'all can probably tell by if you've watched my videos for very long, our animals are a big part of our life. We love our animals. They are just part of the family. So that morning when I got up, one of the dogs was out by the fence, would not come away. It was so sad. So I walked up there and as I approached, I could see the, um, the kitty cat, Angie, was in the road. So I had to get the dog in the house, had to end up putting her on the leash because she would not come away. She was barking. It was just really, really sad. So put the dog in the house and we took care of all of that. Um, it was hard. It was a hard way to start the day. And uh, so anyway, we're just going to take a minute here in the video to remember Angie. She came to us as a surprise. We were sitting out back one day and she just showed up, walked around the corner of the house. She had worms. She was so skinny, which she's, she pretty much stayed skinny. Um, she had one whole side of her face was banged up. And I did not want to keep her. I did not. I didn't know what I was going to do, but I left her outside because she was so yucky looking. And she sat out the window for a couple of days just scratching, scratching our window, wanting, wanting to come in. Now you can see my door. She did that too. So um, anyway, we're going to take a minute. We're going to remember Angie with picture and video. 
and we miss her a lot, but it is what it is. And so, um, take a minute and enjoy. I'm out this morning and I came out to, uh, this is the Tuesday after Father's Day. And I came out to dump Angie's litter box one last time. Our other kitty cat does not use a litter box. And I, as I walked up to the step, because I was had gone out the back door, came up to the front door, I noticed another memory. Angela, she ripped our screen open. And so she had her own little kitty cat door. She could just walk through the screen. <laughs> I know that looks so trashy, but we just left it like that. Now the dogs go through it, the cats go through it, but I'm gonna have it replaced pretty soon because I just, I'm sick of looking at it. And I didn't see any point in replacing it as long as we had her because she was notorious for popping that door in the night, wanting in or whatever. And uh, so yeah, memories, last litter box change and the door. joining me today um I, i'm gonna try to get caught up on my videos i have a lot of footage i have a lot of videos um i'm trying to edit so thank you for bearing with me i hope you enjoy the video and have a blessed day <laughs>